absolute nightmare. Greetings to another video. Today's video was meant to be a park rash hill climb. We went there and it's been completely resurfaced, so it's basically just a gravel pit. And doing an effort up there, not gonna happen today. So I put on my Instagram, which other climb would you want to see me do in the Dales? And the winner was Butter Tubs. Um, I've never done this before, but it was featured in the Tour de France. And we've just come down it and I know how hard it's gonna be. There's like sections of 25%. So the stats, it's 3.6% average of nine percent and then steep sections of 25. I am really nervous and my legs aren't feeling as fresh because we went backpacking to France and so they're still not feeling as tip-top as I'd like to do this climb but I'm going to give it a go. Right, you ready? So this is the start. Uh, this particular way up is from Thwaite which is the harder way each way is still pretty brutal but yeah if you want to go and do it this is the hardest way so also i should say my legs look so white don't know why they're not actually that white i think it was because the sun was just blasting on them it was so hot i feel like i'm getting all the excuses in early but it was so hot it was probably about 28 30 degrees so this is the start of it i've, I've cut it down otherwise it would just be too long a video so as you can see at the start, my watts aren't too bad. They kind of, they're kind of jumping around a lot basically. So yeah, so 260, 270, 280, 290. So I think my FTP, so that's a 20 minute effort. I think my 20 minute power, not my FTP, the actual 20 minute power is about 278. Um, and so as you can see from the off, my watts are very low from the very start of this climb. Like they are not, not that high. If you've watched any of my other climbing videos, you'll see that I am able to put a fair bit of power down. Um, but this today, today was just not the day for me. And yeah, this is why I was defeated by it basically because my legs just hurt. No matter what I was doing, you can see there, like the, the watts are just so low and I, it's not for want of trying. I was trying really, really hard. And I was like, come on legs, you could do it, you could do it. And today was just not one of those days like it's not particularly steep at this point it's like eight percent so you can even see like at 15 percent like my cadence is so low 64 at the top left you can see it and my watts are just really low i've probably said that enough now you can tell i was having a bit of an off day to be fair it wasn't even an off day it was just that the week before i'd done this i probably not had enough recovery we basically rode to france um, and part of the way back. So it was about 800K we did the week before. So I think my legs just got tired. So I think, and, and this is the thing, I, I could have just not shown it or just like deleted it and gone back and absolutely just caned it. Um, and then be like, oh yeah, I did really well in it. But I kind of want to show, you know, that I'm not just, not that, I, mean, so, I know some of you, you know, make out like I'm, I don't know, a really, really good cyclist. Um, and I'm not bad but I kind of wanted to show the ups and the downs of it. And today, I mean, it's, it's not really a down, it's just that I didn't do a climb as fast as I wanted to do it. I mean, it's it's pretty irrelevant, but, um, but I just kind of wanted to share it with you as well. Uh, so that was like one of the steepest corners. I think that was a 25% corner. Um, but yeah, but I guess one thing to take from this is look at that view. So this is in the Dales. It is honestly the most incredible place to ride. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll know that the Dales, the Yorkshire Dales are just literally my favourite, favourite place to ride, especially on a weather day like that. It was just phenomenal. So even though I didn't like get necessarily the best like time that I wanted, I mean, it's pretty irrelevant. As long as you're out riding your bike, that is all that matters. And I had a really good time doing it. But yeah, look at my watts. Like it's like 150 watts. I mean, it's not steep. I'm just exhausted. And so if you are going out after you've done like you know, a lot of volume, a lot of riding. This is what happens. You just, legs just get a little bit tired. Another issue that I had was, is it gonna come up now? I can't remember. Uh, there's a little downhill section. In fact, I'll wait and chat to you about that when the down, downhill section comes, but yeah. Actually, yeah, it's coming there now. So basically I couldn't shift into the big ring 
I've knocked my front mech, I think. I just need to go and get it adjusted, or potentially the tension just needs adjusting. But I couldn't shift into the um, the big ring. And so on the descent, I just had to freewheel. So for a whole minute, I just freewheel. Freewheel with no watts. I'm just, I'm, at this point, I'm just like, I'm just gonna enjoy the descent because it is so pretty. Look at that, look at that view. And then we get back onto the climb and I'm like, come on, you can, you can push it to the end. Because part of me was just like, I just want to just stop and not and stop filming. But I was like, come on, you can, you can get to the end, even if it's just, um, even if it's just a slower time. Oh, look at that view, look how beautiful it is. So let me know if you've actually done butter tubs before, because like I said in the, um, at the start of the video, this was the climb that you wanted me to do and I'm more than happy to go back and do it again if you want me to. Because I actually want to go back and just do a big loop around there because it's just stunning. Also, that car, the reason that I wasn't pulling over, there was loads of gravel and glass on the side. And so don't, don't ever feel like you have to, if it's not safe for you to be at the side of the road, just take up the road. Um, that car will just have to wait until it's okay to pass. So it is steep, There's, like sections of it were pretty steep. It's a great, great one to go and have a crack at. Uh, so yeah, let me give you my statistics. So uh, overall was 16 minutes 24, cadence was 75 and my average watts was 202. However, I don't know how this happened. I got back, looked on Strava and I got 10th place for women, like 10th overall. I don't really know how that happened because this felt like an absolute disaster of a day. So I got back and I was like, I am made up with that. So if you want me to go back and do it again, in fact, I'm gonna do it anyway. So you probably see an updated version. That's the end there, by the way. Absolute nightmare. And my legs would just not do anymore. And then on the descent and the flat bits of it, I just couldn't get in the big gear. Like, so you see, I'm not always got good power. That was, did your legs hurt on it? Yeah. I think cause we've done all that riding. I was just like, I've got nothing. Like it felt like, it felt like I was bonking, I'm like, I've eaten enough, I've drank enough. There's just, there was just nothing in my legs. And I'm really sorry, I forgot to put my heart rate monitor on. I'd love to, because I think my heart rate would have been high. I was working hard, but the watts just weren't there today. But on the plus side, I hope you enjoyed the climb because it was really nice. And actually the steep bits didn't feel anywhere near as steep as I thought they were going to. Obviously it hurt, but I'd like to come back and do it again when I'm not tired. <laughs>